Hello, it's Airborne Rogue, and I'm going to show you today how to make maps with this here, with Western Front. And this is going to be in three parts because there's our organization editor, map editor, and then the scenario editor. So, first of all, this is the organization editor, which is pretty simple to use. This is the by far the simplest. Right, um, this one's from Western Front, but the John Teller version. And one annoying part about it is Soviets are allied in this game while Russia's Axis although Russia was Axis at the start of the war but the this Russian Axis goes the whole way up to 1947 but we'll ignore that for now um, right so basically all you want to do is like say for example you wanted a battle between with Britain and France on one side and Germany on the other side. Right, you, first of all, you can't change the sides of armies, so Germany can never be allied. Italy can never be allied unless there's well allied Italy near the end of the war. So you then what you do is you click this here. Now say you want platoon size, which is single units. You would click on this here, and there's all your single units, and then you pick across which ones you want so for example say I wanted say I wanted a couple of HQs so I will pick a couple of battalion HQ foot you just click that we arrow there and there we are now with three battalion HQs but that's not as handy as clicking companies so say tank squadron Tank Squadron C, Tank Squadron B, Tank Squadron A, we'll have a good tank, tank battle. And a couple of good old fashioned Gurkhas. They're always good. Right. So then that's your, that's the British sort of the French apparently were beaten by this point, so I should go backwards in times. Time doesn't matter. <coughs> well, time does matter. You can only pick certain units if they were available at that time. So, for example, after night early 1941, France has no units apart from a couple of single platoons. So like the French or artillery and oh, it's Polish um, you always have to add the battalion HQs in separate unfortunately because they don't seem to work properly or they don't not that they don't work probably they don't come up if you click in the company right and last but not least Germany I'll put you back to 1941 to match up with the British stuff company and then a couple of light panzers a couple of medium panzers and light cars Uh, I'll give them some parachutes so you can see how that works. Uh, ISS headquarters. Uh, railway guns. Those railway guns are quite fun actually. I'll go railway gun. I'll pick one more to even out the odds a bit. HQ infantry, right? So that's it there. <coughs> that's basically you done. That's the first part done. All you have to do is save. Make sure to save as something that you're going to find. See the way I was saving them as ah. So you better make sure this is in the right file. Yeah, John Tiller, because I have the other Western fronts installed, and sometimes they save into the wrong files so I'll call this one triple A and that's about that